morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Thoughts Count Anywhere. Coming to you live from the Go Live Vegas studios in the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Aaron Phillips, and the chief is in the house. Matt Mullen is in the house. Aaron E. on the board, and you folks, we appreciate you tuning in. 702-329-6947 is our number because I know when our guest comes on and she is primed and ready to go, I can't imagine the phone lines not burning down to want to speak to one Vicky Guerrero. Is she on the horn? Do we have Vicky? Because last time I, I didn't give her a chance to come in. At this time, is she ready to go? There you go. She's in, the, she's in the house, and I need band-aids for my ears. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the incomparable Vicky Guerrero. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you, Aaron? Look and at Matt you. Welcome. Everyone, let's have a great time. Absolutely. You look great. No, I did. <laughs> that orange, which I just saw flash up when, when Aaron had you up for a couple of seconds, that's a great color on you. I showered for you guys today. You well, that, that's... <laughs> What a fucking cheap prop. Oh, hey. Wow. hey. Listen, <laughs> I need you to do two things ah. for me, I, Vicky. Ah. Matt, Matt, Matt groveled to come back on the show ah. today because Jeez. you fired him. So I... I ah. am. Ha! Ah. You're gone. Ha! Ah. However, the problem I have is that he's our, he's our guru media guy and has been blasting your appearance with us. So I think he's earned his right to come back on the air. So would you mind just rehiring him, please? Matt, you're rehired for the... There you go. All right, Matt's back. <laughs> now, I give you full, full ability as, let's just say, the Thoughts Count Anywhere general manager for the next 45 minutes. You can fire Chief anytime you want to. <laughs> you better watch it, woman. You oh, just my. better watch it. So, excuse me. Oh my! Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious! You know what? Usually, I lose control of shows a couple of minutes in. This is totally lost from like moments in, which is great. I can see we're going to have a love relationship already, Miss Vicky. A love. Hey, it's my middle name. <laughs> is, it a, <laughs> is it a love relationship or a love-hate relationship for the next 45 minutes? Love. Okay, there you go. 702-329-6947. Press 1 if you're outside the United States. 1-855-502-4321 is our number. You can also send us a tweet using hashtag thoughts count anywhere. Ask your question. Of course, we are in the chat room. Uh, Thomas Burnett is saying that we can barely hear Vicky, but she sounds good to us in our studio. I don't know if it's output on our end, Aaron, but I'm just sharing that message with you. Being adjusted, uh, Thomas. All right, Miss Vicky. So, um, how's it going since we last met you? You've been a very busy individual since we last chatted about a year ago. Has it been a year already? I'm pretty sure we were in this studio, maybe a little over a year, but we'll give it. By the way, your, your first appearance with us still today ranks as our number one most viewed show. Oh, thank, oh, that makes me feel good. Thanks, Not surprisingly, guys. of course, but. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Are that... you saying Aaron's a cheap son of a bitch? <laughs> no, but I'll tell you what. If you, if you buy a copy of my book, I'll, we'll call it even. No, that's a cheap plug. <laughs> so of course it is. <laughs> Can you imagine Vicky Guerrero now popping my book every once in a while? Now that means I might have to appear on her show to talk about wrestling and talk about my book. There you go. When's it coming out, Vicky? No, the COVID um, is, is in the process of the release. Yes, ma'am. We're almost there. So we're hoping that by early 2022, it should be released. So it's all written. It's ready to go. It's just everything with COVID just kind of you know, stood still. So I'm having a lot of patience right now. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I look forward to that read. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Thank right. you. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, it's been, uh, I've been busy. You know, I signed with All Elite Wrestling since I've seen you, Aaron. Right. The last time I saw you was at um, the Comic Con in Las Vegas. Oh, the one in October? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's been busy. I'm managing Nyla Rose and. Um, I'm... <laughs> did you say who? Chief, no. did, Chief did, not me. You know, Chief, you're already pissing me off right now. 
If you watch Arlie Wrestling, you would know what I'm doing on the show. Either get with the program or get the hell out of here. Ha <laughs> oh, ha. Hey, still got right by you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I I watched uh, I watched uh, All Elite this past Wednesday, and uh, that was a hell of a match. It was a hell of a horrible night for me and Nyla Rose. Oh, I don't mean it that way. I mean in yeah, general. <laughs> no, I did No, that was a hell of a match, and uh, y'all put it over. I might try to get myself fired again. I guess Britt Baker won with a broken wrist, too. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> hey, like I said on All Elite Wrestling, you know, me and Nyla Rose, we break Barbie. So, you know, just Reba got hurt the first match we had, and now Britt's hurt. I'm telling you, we're living up to our name. We break Barbies. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. And still. So... <laughs> Now, you're managing Nyla. Yes. And a couple of weeks ago, you introduced another uh, individual to AEW on stage. Are you now managing within AEW or just focusing on Nyla Rose? Uh, Right now, it's Nyla Rose. You know, we we announced that there was a big surprise from Andrade and Lilo. So um, the surprise was Chavo Guerrero, my nephew. What just happened? Is it on? Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're still having some technical difficulties on our end, Vicky, but it's me on our end. So go ahead, keep going. It's Chief I'm touching it. stuff. We're so excited here that Chief is touching all the buttons and screwing everybody's headsets up. What the hell are you blaming me for? Because you got three quarters. Because their fingers half on are it. touching it. Oh my gosh, here goes a damn bell again. We're, we're, remember, you have the power. Anyway. Yeah, you know, when men talk to me, they, they seem to touch a lot of things. So, you know, that, wow. that's normal. Giggity. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch it. I, I don't know why, but I can barely hear anything in my headset. But that's Keep your okay. hands to did yourself, you Chief. Did you Keep your hands your to yourself. I did. Morning. It worked fine in the first show. Did you clean your ears? I did. Listen, for Vicky, like, I even showered and cleaned both ears. Oh, damn. Do you want me to put on my headphones? Would that help? Uh, I don't know if it'll help. It might help on your end to hear us better, but it, it's... I don't even know. Great. Y'all, y'all are coming in nice and clear. Oh, there you go. All right. Very good. All right. So you don't do anything. I'll let Aaron on this end figure it all out. That's what he's paying okay. for. Right. Okay. So, all right. So you've got, you've got Nyla. You've, you're working. What, what else is on the horizon for Vicky and AEW? Let's talk about what the future holds for you. What, Gosh, what do you no, want to do? My dream is to have an all-woman faction. You know, that's my that's my oh. goal that I've been talking with Tony Khan about. And we have some incredible women on the women's roster. And so I would love to bring some more in. And, you know, the, the purpose of my job is to get all the bad girls on my side so they listen to me <laughs> and I can delegate them to go kick everyone else's ass. So that's my that's my uh, goal. You know, but uh, I, I brought in Andrade uh, just to, you know, bring him into All Elite Wrestling and then, of course, Chavo Guerrero was uh, introduced this past Wednesday, which was a warm welcome for him. So I think things are about to get really exciting at all of the. If you can form your own stable of bad girls, who would they be right now? Oh, my gosh. Um, see, I love uh, Nyla Rose. Well, of course, Nyla Rose is with me. Um, I think, um, you know, Diamante, I, I would love to have her on. And Abaddon, because she scares the hell out of me. I think you're on my side. Um, <laughs> You know, and then, uh, you know, Thunder Rosa, I think she'd be incredibly, you know, a great addition to my stable. So, yeah, so that's who I have my eyes on right now. And it was announced that Thunder Rosa is now all elite. Her sign, yes. Yeah? So that's, yes. maybe she's specifically, incredible. maybe she's specifically signed to be managed by you. Um, I don't know. I mean, who knows? But it just happened this past week. So um, I'm going to, you know, tap on Thunder's shoulder and we're going to have a little talk and see what she has planned and. See if we can, uh, you know, conspire some some good whoopings. <laughs> <laughs> good, Matt. What you got? I know you talked about Chavo a second ago, but how happy were you to see him get signed to AEW? Because he got one hell of a pop when he came out. That was awesome. Yeah, you know, Chavo is uh, he's going to add so much to uh, the storyline with Andrade, you know, and then going against, you know, the Death Triangle. Uh, just their their photos made it. You know, I mean, it just told. It says you know a story's worth a thousand words. You know, on a picture, uh, I think he's going to be great. Uh, he can help Andrade, you know, with the promos, which is really needed. And um, you know, he's talented and he's a Guerrero. So what more else could you ask for? True that. 
Uh, absolutely. Here's what we're going to do. We're at our first break at quarter after the hour. So, Vicky, stand by if you don't mind. We're going to step aside for our first break. And uh, we just want to remind everybody you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere coming to you live from the Go Live Vegas studios. If you're on the go, download the Go Live Vegas mobile app, and at least you can continue listening to Vicky and the rest of the show. Of course, we all know everybody's tuned in for Vicky. They don't care about us. And quite frankly, I would do the same thing. We'll be back in 60 seconds. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit shit, hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much needed life saving equipment to first responders. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. Come to you live from Go Live Vegas Studio. 702-329-6947. Press 1 to come on to the into the studio on the phone and ask your question to our very special guest. And she's actually a returning guest which I don't know what that says about her, but she obviously had some empty time today with nothing to do to join us again today. Vicky, no, the, I love you guys. I love you guys. The great Vicky Guerrero joins us. Are you are you back in Texas now? Yes, I'm in okay. Houston, and uh, I love it here. I mean, we just moved into the country, and um, I'm being experiencing a lot of elements out here in the wildlife, so life's been pretty exciting this past month. Well, our, our, our producer, Aaron, is originally from Laredo. So when you said Texas, we had to pick him up off the floor in excitement. Oh, yeah. You can't. Nothing's better than Texas. Even though I love Las Vegas for their gambling, but you can't go wrong with Texas. Oh, just Aaron, Aaron wants a water burger. Aaron, get in your own damn car. Come down and drive to Houston. Get your own damn water burger. There you go. Damn straight. That's right. All right, Chief. <laughs> hey, Vicky, got a question for you. Who who would you like to see come into AEW that is unsigned right now? That would be a good fit for you all. Oh, I think the one that comes to mind is uh, probably Ruby from, you know, she was formerly with WWE. I, I would love to have Ruby on, on uh, the roster for AEW. That's one of Matt's girlfriends. If she would be in your stable, that would be... See? There he goes. He's, pe he's pe peeping off. Yeah, of she was really underutilized. And, you know, I love her to pieces. She was on my podcast. And just a great talent and just a good, wholesome human being. So I would love to see her on our roster. And based on all the stories after she was released, she was such a great backstage influence, sending cards and, you know, presents and this and that, that she was really a mainstay. Um now, we, we know that the big show, well, sorry, we can't say the big show, Paul White and Mark Henry uh, recently signed and as part of AEW, but a lot of their efforts is behind the scenes to work with talent. Are, are you involved in any of the, back, uh, the backroom talent to help train them, storyline, all that sort of stuff as well? Well, you know, um, I, I'm considered a coach at All Elite. Um, you know, the girls, they train before every TV day uh, in the morning. So I'm with Dustin. Uh, I, I love working with the character development, you know, with the, with the women. So that's been such a fascination of mine, you know, with uh, trying to help them, you know, get their characters and especially with the extra talent that come into All Elite. I, I love working with them and helping them identify if they want to be a baby or a heel or, you know, what kind of character they want to be. Um, and then also I'm kind of like the, the den mom, you know, I help in the locker room. I, I'm, I try and be the, the ear, you know, for them if they want to talk. But I love being a mentor. I love sharing my knowledge of what I've experienced in the wrestling industry and to just, um, you know, just kind of be there for everyone makes, makes me feel really good that I can, uh, you know, share the locker room with these amazing women. Well, I, I can only imagine how much information these, uh, that the ladies and the guys, I mean, given the fact that you were, had other roles in professional wrestling in the past, 
besides the heritage and your linkage to Eddie and, and the family, I mean, it's crazy. You are a walking history book, I got to imagine, of pro wrestling. Oh, well, thank you, Aaron. I just got a little tingle in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, I mean, in all seriousness, um, my main goal with All Elite Wrestling is to work behind the scenes as well, especially with the community outreach projects and uh, working within the community and just, you know, uh, being like more of the administrative role. So that's something that I really look forward to, even though I, I am enjoying being, you know, part of this, the roster and going out on stage with Nyla and, and everyone else. But, you know, there's so much back scene stuff and all of each is growing so much on a monthly basis that, you know, I, that's where my goal is, is to kind of be the supportive role backstage as well. But, you know, Vic, you've got <laughs> you have so much knowledge in the wrestling business and so much to give. I want to ask you, are you going to be doing anything on the new show Rampage that's coming up? You know, I don't know. Everyone's kind of waiting to see what what the whole concept is. Um, you know, I know it's going to be a lot of interviews and a lot of, you know, back scenes of the the wrestlers and yes, also, you know, the, the personnel. But, um, you know, we'll find out. But anything they want me to do, you know, I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to roll. <laughs> I want to see you kick some ass myself. Oh, well, thank you, Keith. Gosh. Any, any, des any desire to get back in the ring and perform in the ring at all? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I had a face for Baker and, you know, Rebel, and that was pretty, uh, that was an intense, you know, uh, match, but. You know, I, I mean, I will do the, if they tell me I need to do a match, you know, of course, I'm not going to say no, uh, you know, but if I can entertain any, in any way, I'm always excited to be out there, you know, whether it's a promo or just to go cheat on the side or whatever it is, you know, so that's something that I really love the entertaining and to, you know, piss the people off that pay attention to do. Yes. <laughs> that's why I like her. There you go, Matt. Damn right. <laughs> Hell hey. yeah. I know you can't con confirm or deny any of this, but the rumors have been going rampant this week that Brian Danielson and CM Punk are imminently going to AEW. Do you think that'd be a game changer for the company as far as viewership and like eyes on the company? Oh, I mean, of course. I mean, you know, CM Punk and Brian Daniels are exceptional, you know, talent. I mean, there's... I mean, they they set their own legacy in their own way, you know. So to have them at All Elite, that would be a Tony Khan decision, um, you know. But I mean, they're good friends of mine, and you know, I love them in pieces. So I think that would be a great addition. But you know, it seems like every week we're just hiring, you know, more people. So as long as you know, you know, all parties are agreeable, you know, I'm I'm ready with open arms to greet them and say hello and welcome. Now all that, out might be the thing to watch. What's that? I said all out in Chicago. Oh, okay. If right. CM Punk's yes. ever popping up, that would be a place. Yeah. That's gotta be it. That place is gonna go insane. Red on that out. Arthur Ashe Stadium, when they go into New York in September, is kind of the bullet that I read yesterday online that that might be when uh, Daniel gets uh, uh, presented. Dare I say, if if the rumors are out there, true. I'm still right. semi annoyed with AEW only for the fact that. They've canceled Double or Nothing twice in Vegas, <laughs> and they released their schedule, and they're actually going back to Jacksonville for some show before they come to Vegas. Yeah, Vicky, can Bring you, Vegas can AEW. You, can you handle that for us uh, and tell Tony Khan the Chief said, bring a show to Vegas? <laughs> um, well, well, I don't think he, he doesn't pay me for my opinion, so I, I don't know why that's Tell him because the Chief said so. Chief and uh, oh, okay, Chief, I'll let him know Wednesday. <laughs> Chief, see how far that goes, Chief. You have to see my shirt. Chief, it ain't easy. <laughs> you know, but you know what's exciting about you guys mentioned that we're the first, you know, to be at the Arthur S. Uh, Stadium in New York. We're the first wrestling promotion to be there. So this is yes. really exciting for All Elite. And, you know, and, you know, also to add to your comment, Matt, which is pretty much full of nonsense, but. You know, for us not to be in Las Vegas is because COVID. I mean, COVID just kind of stopped everything. So Oh, I know. It's just yeah. circumstances. Yeah. You didn't but... mention that, Matt. So, you know what? You need to get your facts together before you open your mouth and Ooh. blow up the you may get Still canceled it, though. It don't matter if it's COVID. Fired again, you may get son. fired again. <laughs> I'm and trying then... to go two for two. Screw it. <laughs> 
folks, by the end of this show, I may be the only one sitting at the desk. Unless Vicky <laughs> fires me too, then Aaron at the board can say goodbye for us. That's all. My goodness. No, I'll now, just take over your show every Saturday. Hey, that's okay. You'd probably get better ratings than we do. So, <laughs> we know you would, for that matter. Um, I do want to mention, since you talked about... you, I shut my mouth. There you go, as Mark Henry would say. <laughs> I uh, just want to mention, since you met, listen, that was a scoop. I didn't know Vicky was coming out here for Unicon, uh, October 1, 2, and 3. Uh, she mentioned it at the top, right? You are coming out here for that, you said, right? Um, we're, I'm, so far, everything works out with scheduling and stuff. Okay, so it's in, it's in talks right now. Yes. Okay, so just in case and thinking positively that Vicky will be here in October, October 1, 2, and 3, for more information, Unicon, go to www.unicon.vegas. It's going to be held at the World Market Center. And uh, if, you, if you do get out of here for it, you must let us know because we'll have to figure something out to get together with everybody, do an interview from there or something. Can we bring but I do her? have promised me a steak dinner for the last three years. It's well, never come true, and I'm losing faith in you right now. All right. All right. It's, you get out of here. I got it covered. We got you. Oh, thank you, Chief. You're welcome. I hope you like steaks at Applebee's. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway. <laughs> Why are you that cheap? You're really about to get fired for I know. real. Well, i, I got to be frugal. <laughs> listen, when I'm not on the air, I'm a school teacher. i got to be frugal with my money. Hey, I took, <laughs> listen, I took my three-quarters half-hymer medicine this morning. You're not getting over on Shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, at, at this rate, I may just go, we may just end up going down to the heart attack grill, get one, one piece of steak for everybody to share. <laughs> You know, I have cows across the street. I can just go kill one, and we'll get everything. Oh, there you go. Steak dinner, yeah. All right, bring it up. We got to take you to that place at the the steakhouse at the D where all the wrestlers go. Oh, there you go. Steakhouse at the D. What's that called again? It's Amarado something. Like, I don't remember. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's where everybody no. goes. I have a place, Vicky. We've got. A, I've got a place we can go have a. You can have a nice steak. You're going to sit down at the table. Nobody's going to be uh, bothering you. You're going to be able to be able to enjoy a meal. Only we'll bother. Oh, you're you not yourself. trapping her in your basement. That's right. Get rid of the dungeon. Keys. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> hey, we, we don't. We don't have. We don't have basements. I've warned in you about Vegas. this, Chief. We don't have basements in Las Vegas. The thing Vegas. is, Vic, Vicky may enjoy that. That's the funny part. I don't know if she does, but um, she, Nyla Rose comes. Well, Barreling down your <laughs> door, you're screwed, that's bud. Hey, that's yeah. it. Just, <laughs> hey, Ladies just, and gentlemen, welcome to Thoughts Count Anywhere, where nobody has any control here anymore. The show no. is off the rails, which is always fun. <laughs> okay, a couple of comments in the chat room as Chief gets ready for his weekly rant. I'll give him a few seconds here. Sean, yeah, exactly. Uh, where Sean had a good message in there. Now I can't. Oh, Sean said, even though Vicky has no interest in getting back in the ring, Vicky will still kick Chief's ass. I thought I would just share that. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Jasmine Martinez says that she was supposed to go to AEW four times, and she wants me to pass on to you that hopefully she will get to see you next month. Our good friend, uh, our good friend Shant has our backs that if something falls through with us, he is more than willing to take you to Texas to Brazil for dinner. Uh, let's see. And what else do I have? Shant uh, also says, Chief, you need to pace yourself. Um, oh, and by the way, Jasmine, she's from Houston, by the way, Vicky. She yes, says, I love Jazzy. Oh, I you do? Her. Okay. She says you're, she's taking you out to uh, a great outback in Houston. Yes. We, we, we're working on that right now. Good. She's one of our Twitch followers, so she's awesome. Now, the, the thing is, when you come out for Unicon, when, when you tell me that you've got everything solidified, we'll have to make arrangements to get you on live on TCA because we're, gonna, we're hooking up Go Live Vegas potentially to do all their Saturday shows at the Unicon. And so my, I unfortunately not be there as I have another commitment, but the guys here, you'll be able to, if we can make it all work out, make something happen for that day. But anyway. I would love to, yeah. Unicon.com, and then I'll take care of dinner with you. We'll, we'll figure that out as well. All right. But you're not going to be there, Aaron, so why even say that? I mean, why, why exactly. even say that? No, no, no. Exactly. He's Wait copping out already. No, 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 Vicky. <laughs> First of all, I will see you either Friday or Sunday. I will be there to do my thing, but... Are there not more than one day in the week where I can still take you out for dinner on any other day but that Saturday? Vicky, I have a, Vicky, I have a line for you if I can use it. Excuses are like assholes and everybody's got one there, sir. <laughs> I'll show you the contract excuse I have as to why I can't be on Saturday. 
I'll give you 500 reasons why she, I have to be Vicky at the gig. Vicky liked it, man. She was laughing. No, that's okay. Yeah. I, I respect <laughs> that. But I'll tell you what. I got 500 reasons why I have to be somewhere else on that Saturday. I still love Yeah, you're it. right. I tell you what to do, and she, I'm behind her 100%. <laughs> man. I, the funny part is, Vicky, and it has nothing to do with my wife. <laughs> I've been contract. I was contracted for another gig before uh, Unicon actually moved their dates to this weekend. But I will be there Friday and Sunday because I'm going to be there for, with Versus Pro Wrestling. I'm going to do a panel about podcasting and all that. Maybe you and I should do a panel about podcasting. Oh, I would love that, Aaron. There you go. All right, so let's make it I happen. I can talk right. to your people, and then your people will get back to my people, and we'll see how that's that works. And then we'll do lunch, of course. Anyway, yeah. all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the bottom of the hour. And it is time for the Chiefs rant. And I know what he's going to do. And if you watched the pay-per-view, I have to say it at least, Money in the Bank last week and you were watching it on Peacock, that's just a little hint as to what the Chiefs rant will be all about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like that. I like the hair on Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the Chief. My three minutes of fame is now 2.58. Anyway, I hope a lot of you uh, watched the damn pay-per-view this past weekend. That sucked. Thanks to WWE and Peacock. You know, you would think you would check your shit out before you put a product on uh, the TV station that we uh, all pay for and expect to watch without a bunch of garble in it. If you, if you look at AEW's podcast, they do an outstanding job. Hey, Vince, your, your damn show this weekend sucked, okay? It just plain sucked. It was in, it was out, it was in, it was out. Then you flipped That's over. That's what she said. Then you flipped over to your. Uh, then she sucked. Your other, uh, whatever the hell it was that you switched signal. to. Signal. Yeah, signal. You switched your signal, and that still didn't work. So you know what? That four billion dollars you're worth. Maybe you need to take a couple million of it and uh, expand it into your uh, technical expertise, so to speak to put a good product on so people can watch it. You want us to spend our hard-earned money? Well, I got news for you. I ain't spending no more money on WWE. My money's gone to AEW now. That's the Chiefs freaking rant this week, over and out. Oh my God. Oh, damn. I love the chat room, Sean. Your, your buddy Chief, Sean, and after this, I don't know how much he really does love you, says, I bet the peacock would be chief up too. Chief. That's like the San Diego chicken. Hey, Sean, are you having a bad day or what? Oh, my God. Uh, peacock is the wish.com version of the WWE uh, Network. Hold it. Hold, stop. Every, everybody stop. Oh, man. If you have something to say to the chief, pick the damn phone up and call us. You'll All see right. him at Firehouse Subs on Tuesday. Exactly. Speaking of which, Firehouse Subs this Tuesday, the 27th from 7 to 8 p.m. Thoughts Count Anywhere will be live at the local. Do you have the address on? I know we have a flyer. I just can't, I'm blanking on the address. It's the one down at Eastern Russell. Eastern and Russell. And why don't you share with everybody, Chief, who our special guest will be? 5905 Southeastern Avenue, Unit oh, 109. Shant. And the special guest oh. will be the unguided. Unguided will be with us. And we're giving away T-shirts. And we got a trip to Cancun to give away this Tuesday. And, and Sean, if you show up, I'm going to slam dunk your ass in the garbage can. Oh, man. Yeah, Chief. You little bitter there? Hey. You forgot not, his pills this morning. Not bad for 68, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Sean. Hey, Sean, I love you. On that note, we're going to step aside for a quick break. And hope that everybody tunes back in after this past segment. But anyway, Vicky Guerrero is still with us. We're honored to have her with us, and she's made time to be with us. We love Vicky. We know you do. Call in. Talk to Vicky. We got her, folks. 702-329-6947. But don't call until after we come back from break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. If you order Firehouse Subs online or with our app, we'll have those delicious, melty subs, boxed, 
bagged and ready to pick up with Rapid Rescue to go. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. This is John Cena. I just, I, just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just wonder, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere because they do. Oh, uh, we got a caller from Guadalajara. What? No, I'm only kidding. Thank you for calling Thoughts Count Anyway, caller. Who's this and where are you calling from, please? Hey, first of all, this is Sean Hyde calling from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, did, Sean. Did, did all it did all it take to get a beautiful woman on the show to get Chief fired up this morning? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chief is on fire. Yeah, he doesn't need his meds now after this. 37 yeah, five. My goodness. Right. Sean, hey, buddy. Uh, the, the other comment I put in there was it's a good thing Chief watched wrestling on the radio. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, that, that was, uh, yes, that was duly well noted. Uh, well, listen, yeah. it's not very often you get an opportunity to talk to Vicky Guerrero. So as long as we have you online, say hi to Vicky. Hi, Vicky. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, we, we had a nice conversation at ToyCon a couple of years ago. So I, uh, good, good, good to talk to you again. That's where I met Vicky. Um, yeah. You didn't hear that, man. Stop. Stop. Listener, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm better, too. As everyone else is to see, uh, to, to see Chavo with AEW as well now. Chavo had a, you know, a lot to do with my son getting into wrestling. So, uh, you know, it's amazing. I, uh. Love the family, love the history, love love everything. So yeah, it's it's gonna be exciting to see what two Guerreros are gonna do on the show now. Yeah, absolutely. So keep keep giving Chief hell. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good talking to you. Thanks, Sean. We'll see you Tuesday, buddy. Love you, brother. All right, we'll see you on Tuesday, guys. Right on. Chief, I'm coming for you. All right, brother. Oh my God. Do I have to bring my, Do I have to bring my ref shirt just no, in case? I got my kendo stick. Oh yeah, you and your kendo stick. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Okay, Vicky, let me ask you, let's get back to Vicky Guerrero. My question to you is this. We know that AEW is about, what, two years old now calendar-wise, and I'll pinpoint for you when you last guested with us because about a week or two after you were on with us last time, camera got a shot of you in the audience behind the plexiglass or fence while Nyla was wrestling, and that was like a week or two after you were with us. So that was about a year or so ago, right? Yes. Okay. I, I did some guest appearances before I got signed. Okay. So my question to you is this. Are you, are you satisfied with or surprised with the early success that AEW has had in the first two years? You know, I'm not surprised. I, I, um, you know, I, gotta, I was a fan of theirs. I got to hold you up on that answer because we have another caller that wants to talk to you, and I got to take callers. Hope that's okay. Uh, yeah. It's your show, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's our show. Yeah, I was going to say, it's our, uh, I don't know whose show it is. But right now, it's Brandy's turn, and Brandy joins us on the line. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you? Doing very well. Good Thank morning, you. sister. You got Vicky Guerrero here Hello. for you. Hi, Brandy. Yeah, I, I didn't really call to talk to you guys. I can talk to you guys anytime I want. Well, we understand that. <laughs> we expect to, that. You mean to tell me you're not going to tell them about the pop I got last night at the show? Oh, yeah, Chief nearly got his ass beat last night <laughs> by some young, young Bret Hart wannabe. Bret Hart wannabe? Holy some God. guy wearing sh shitty-ass looking blue pants. All right, let's, well, Brandy, anyway, go ahead and talk to Vicky. can I get Vicky. to talk to Vicky? Yes, please, go right ahead. She's been waiting patiently for you. Man. Hi, Vicky. how are you? I'm great, Brandy. Thanks for calling in. Yes, so I know the guy who's really asked the Mount Rushmore question, so I'm going to ask to you, what's the Mount Rushmore of females for you? Oh, my God. Um, mine is going to have to be uh, probably sensational Sherry. Um, woman was one of my all-time favorites. Um, I would have to say, um, oh, man, gosh, uh, I think mine are just all legends. I mean, because those are my mentors. Um, I'd have to say uh, Medusa is one of one of the other ones that I adore, and I love her legacy. And I would have to say, um, 
man, I think Sheeta. I think Sheeta is just incredible. So I have to put her on my my Mount Rushmore as well. Awesome! Wow. Awesome! That's a great foursome there. Wow. Of course it is. Why, why would you doubt that? <laughs> So I'm going to start a bunch of crap. I'm going to be like, hey, Nyla, she didn't put you on her Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I, I'm hearing that fired word. I'm going to get fired ready. quickly. I was going to say, I'm hearing that coming out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That, that's great. That's great. Brandy, I'm sure. Are, are you working Tuesday? You're going to be with us Tuesday night at the remote. No, I'll, I'll be there Tuesday. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. I'm going to be there to see um, the, the match between Sean and Chief. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand that's now a false count anywhere behind the counter with mayonnaise. I don't know. Oh, great. It's a gravy match. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know. the dressing match at the firehouse sub. Is that what happens on Tuesdays? Well, <laughs> fire, <Who knows? laughs> firehouse subs is a great sponsor of ours, and uh, we do monthly remotes from uh, the owner's two facilities we rotate. So we're on the road. Nice. Absolutely. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas unless it goes out on the internet. Shut up, Pat. Just We're shut screwed. the hell up. I'm not even talking to you anymore. <laughs> wow. My Mount Rushmore has turned into four versions shut of Britt Baker. <laughs> Brandy, Brandy, escape when you can. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you for your support of calling in. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Brandy. Love you, sister. Sean says that he's that he's going to uh, slap Chief with a sub. I don't know what that means, but I don't know if I want to see it. But anyway, I'm going to stuff a damn uh, brownie down your uh, throat, oh, there, don't, son. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't waste whoa. the brownie that way. That's right. Don't don't waste the brownie. Hey, I got censored by Peacock. All right. Hell yes. They can actually hear you. It's not on Peacock. I don't care. <laughs> When the hell has that ever bothered me before? Oh, my goodness. Vicky, I need you down here in Vegas to control things. Would you please? I would love to. I'd just throw Matt out the door, and I'll just help you out, Aaron. Hell today, yeah. Today, I don't think Matt's the problem. Threaten me with a good problem. time. <laughs> I kind of like Chief's Prime. It's kind of like, kind of awesome, yeah. Chief's primed and ready to go. Oh, my God. All right. I want to thank everybody that's watching across a course all along our platforms. And I want to welcome everybody that is, uh, what are you, jeez. I want to also uh, welcome everybody that's tuning in because of Vicky and her show. Talk about your podcast for a moment, why don't you? Yeah, my podcast is called the Excuse Me Vicky Guerrero Show. It's I'm on my second season, which I'm just totally thrilled and ecstatic. I love talking and um, I love the guests that come on. I have celebrities, actors, musicians, of course, the wrestling uh, community. And it's going strong, so I'm hoping to build my podcast to a bigger audience and a, you know, perhaps like Sirius or iHeart. Like that's my goal. And um, has never invited to my show or anywhere near my show, but you guys are just going to be like always welcome. Well, that that's great. Anytime you need us, uh, please by all means uh, let us know. You know, we'd love to be there, and anything that we can continue to do to support and expand your show, like. Doing this kind of stuff and, of course, promoing it would be uh, our honor, I would say. Absolutely. So. And, and Shut the hell up, man. No, that's Chief talking. That's not even me. No, I, I know. I heard, I heard Chief. I, I heard Matt. I saw me. Matt. I'll send to put over your daughter, but never mind. <laughs> Matt, send, or, uh, Aaron, send me the uh, link so I can uh, share it. Where, where Where is your podcast found for those who don't so know? You can find my podcast on Google, uh, Apple, Spotify, Podbean. Uh, it's all over the place, so I just gotta download it and uh, please like, comment, you know, whatever it is. Just show me the love because I I am I really enjoying the support. I have Bluetooth and Sensible Meals as my sponsors, so they've been great, and I'm looking for more sponsors. So yeah, that's my that's aren't, my two cents. Aren't, aren't we all? Uh, <laughs> I'll start sharing it for you, Vicky. You got it. All right, we have we have one more break we have to take so that we keep making Firehouse subs happy. So with that, we're going to step aside for a final break. When we come back, we'll wrap up with Vicky. hopefully take more of your calls, maybe get her thoughts on a couple of pop culture items. Who knows? Anything can happen on this show, as you guys have known over the two years that we've been doing this. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in 60 seconds.
This is John Cena. I just, I, just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because they do. Okay, well, speaking of firehouse, <laughs> hey, you're back. It's like a firehouse drill. Okay. Well, welcome back. We appreciate it. Of course, joining us on our day today is Miss Vicki Guerrero, taking time out of her busy schedule. Good to, there you go. Yeah, that's it. That's AEW. Is that the It picture? does have the letters right on right. the screen, <laughs> bud. Why did you not wait? <laughs> he didn't is, need a cereal this morning, apparently. No, of course not. But is that the picture, Vicki, that they use for you on their site? Oh, we let, wait, we lost, are she still muted? Vicky, hang on a second. There you go, oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, those are several of the mean mugs that I have for AEW, so, yeah. See, now you need to fire Aaron. He could have found a better picture for you, for crying out loud. Yeah, all of you guys are pissing me off this morning. This is not how I want to start my Saturday. We're all going to get fired by the time this show is over. <laughs> Maybe we ought to just leave and let Vicky finish cool, up. Cool, I guess sleep in next week. <laughs> exactly, right? Okay. Matt. Matt. Matt, you have a question. If I'm allowed to talk, I uh, guess. That's but all right. How is the morale of backstage in AEW? Is you guys grow weekly, get more people, get more exposure? Is like the morale of AEW like, holy you crap, know, this is turning into like a huge thing? It's great. I mean, you know, the, there's no stress backstage. I have to say that because, you know, we're not scripted. You know, Tony Khan gives us the, point, the bullet points that he wants us to say on the show. And we have that creative liberty to be able to do what we want, you know, and say how we want our characters to be portrayed. And there's just a lot of knowledge being shared. You have like Mark Henry and Paul White, they come out in the ring and you have, you know, the, the top guys that help the, the extras, you know, with their matches. And it's so great to see the camaraderie and the just the, the true sportsmanship of everyone helping everyone out and making them, you know, better and, and, the great thing about All Elite is that you know, everyone takes their criticism and uses it productively. Sometimes, you know, people get offended, but I can't believe you said that to me. But, you know, everyone just opens their heart and they're just like, you know, they want to learn and they want to just keep making themselves better. So the camaraderie and the morale is just amazing. And, you know, Tony Khan really emphasizes that so much because if we're on a two week loop, you know, Tony will rent out a restaurant for everybody to go eat and drink and just it's just family time. And that's something that is unheard of. And even to have Tony Khan come out in the show and say hi to the fans, you've never seen Vince McMahon do that, you know, mm -hmm. even off camera. And for Tony to really let the fans know that he appreciates them for coming. It's just such a great sense of appreciation for the fans, because without them, we can't do this. So. That, you know, to have that, you know, be seen and the fans can see that Tony comes out and takes that time out. It just makes me proud that I'm part of this company that, you know, that has that respect for everyone that shows up to see us. Sean says, Sean, Sean Hyde uh, has a statement for you in the chat room. He says, Vicky, I sincerely apologize on behalf of all these guys. I might slap Matt with a sub on Tuesday if you want me to as well. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's gonna be a lot of it and send it to me. <laughs> That's what, we already have somebody who's who's already in there said that he would record it, so we, we're gonna get it on tape. Uh, yeah. Way, Vicky, uh, I've been looking at your back wall that's sitting behind you, and you oh. and you have a picture. It looks like a black and white picture on the me? wall. Yes. Yeah, uh, that is. I don't want to say real old, but it looks like it's going back old school wrestling. We're trying to bring up a bigger picture. And, um, there we go. Um, uh, uh, well, first of all, there's no black and white, but there's uh, Edge and I, you know, there's and there's John Cena and myself. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, when when John was wrestling Edge, so I was a referee. So I have a lot of great memorabilia that gave me some great memories from WWE. And then I have, of course, you know, 
I get a lot of fan art, so I love to put those up and frame them and just, you know, enjoy with the fans, you know, how they, they draw me and they send these to me. So that's something that I really appreciate. And of course I have the, uh, the first evolution pay-per-view, you know, they sent that to me framed and that's the last time they talked to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> Uh, okay, I have, an I have an idea if it's okay with you, Vicky. I'm going to ask Matt. So while he's, before you fire him, he runs our website and everything. So if you can, if Vicky's okay with this, let's, we have her logo. And then just grab one of the links for her podcast and let's put it on our, on our page with our other supporters and advertisers. Why don't we do that? Yeah, of course. Can we do that? Yeah. All right. So you, we're going to put a link up on our website for your show as well. Thank you. Matt, can you handle that? Are you all right? It's not too overwhelming for you, is it? I think I'll manage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We got that Britt Baker sure. picture ready, right? I just put a Britt Baker picture up with, like, Vicky Guerrero's link on it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll take care of that for you, Vicky. No problem. All thank right. you, Matt. You're... <laughs> that was my idea. Do I get a thank you? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I've been outvoted. Thank you, Okay, one last. Did we talk about the, the status of women's wrestling overall yet with Vicky? No. Vicky, what's your thoughts on where women wrestling is today across the board? Because we know right now there's, there's talks of women only shows. Of course, WWE did that a couple of years ago. They're talking about it. NWA's talking about it. Impact, you got. What's, what's the status of women wrestling today? You know, I'm so proud of the women. See you, Jeff. Did. It's, uh, you know, to see that Mickey James working with NWA and, and to promote this all women's pay-per-view. How fantastic is that, that, you know, the women are being heard and seen and featured in their own show. And I think, you know, WWE had their first, you know, all women's pay-per-view, which was Evolution, which was great. Um, it's, it's just, it's, it's about time that the women were featured for their talent and not just because of their looks. And so to be part of that division to... You know, everyone contribute their talent and their creativity and the person and their personalities. I think it's just it says something and it speaks volumes of that the women are making um, their stand and it shows today. And I think that's a pretty damn cool thing that's happening for the women's division. You know, I keep, Vicky, I keep saying the women need to have their own damn TV show. <laughs> And I will keep advocating for that. I volunteer to be commentary on that show. Oh. <laughs> well, if I'm going to run it, you're out. So uh, there you go. No, that would be really great. I think that's. Uh, I think that'd be something that'd be awesome to see. You know, for the women to have it on network. I think that'd be a lot of history there. I mean, women go back many years when the men started. So I think to be something that would be awesome for the the wrestling industry. You know, the one thing I think, Vicky, that people t in today, they've lost is the history of, of, of wrestling. You know, I've been fortunate. I got to see Fabulous Moore. I got to see other women wrestlers. Did you see Mae Young, May Young also? I got to see Mae Young. Because Brandy wanted you to throw a historic female wrestler's name out. I got to see Mae Young and Mark Henry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I'll leave, I'll leave it there. The baby um, uh, I can't think of her first name, but Casey um, was her last name. So I got to see a lot of the women that pioneered wrestling in for women. And to see where it's come today, I'm so excited for an all-women's pay-per-view. And I still say there needs to be an all-women television show on somebody's network. God damn it, uh, Aaron. You had to show that picture? I hate you, Aaron, right now. Oh, my Aaron, God. Aaron, put that up. That was all the producer. It had nothing to do with me at all. <laughs> Let's hear it, Vicky. Say it. Go. Say it. Excuse me! <laughs> well, I was expecting you're fired, Matt. But that's no, hold on. Well, let me finish here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me really get in, okay? Just hold on. Ah. You're fired! Piece of shit! <laughs> Boy, are we going to get along, man. I'm <laughs> oh, calling the dentist. Call the dentist, will you? <laughs> Vicky, I have a, somebody in the chat. Oh, not somebody. Jasmine mentioned something about... She remembers uh, you trying to spear Edge years ago, and our buddy Shantu's in the chat room actually was at that event to see that. 
what I mean, what was that like? Because Jasmine then follows up saying she remembers laughing really hard. I don't. She said it. I didn't. So over your dinner with her, you can take that out with her. Yeah, you know, to, when I started in WWE, I got to you know manage Edge and Dolph Ziggler, and uh, those were the times that the women could hit the men and the men could you know hit us back, and there was that you know that contact that we could have. And then when WWE got all these sponsors, they're like, we don't like you know these issues because of domestic violence and you know the equality to women. I was like, no, no, I'm good. Like I'm okay to be up with you know beat up the guys and they can beat me up, but. It, it kind of lost its its fun, you know, on the show because that's what people love. They love to see Edge, you know, spear me, or I could turn around and spear him right back. Or when Rey Mysterio gave me the six one nine pop, you know, off the the West Coast pop off the top rope on Valentine's Day in my wheelchair, like those were things that were just really fun, and the fans loved to see my ass get kicked, and that was that was. My job was to, you know, I run my mouth, I get in trouble, and there was always a receipt to pay. And so that's something that's just really, that was something fun for me. And, you know, it's lost its, you know, inability to entertain the fans because even, you know, at All Elite, we can't have the guys hit us or we hit them. So it's, I miss those days because that was a lot of fun. She was just checking your bicuspids in that picture, wasn't she? I mean, I... I... I just I almost threw up on her, so you know, but whatever. <laughs> and let's not mention because she had bad breath, you know, that I have to take that too. No one No I got his number. I got his number. There you go. My goodness gracious. Have you ever with like all the entertaining stuff you've done and like the interactions with like the rock and stuff did you ever get like close to breaking character on tv like just burst out laughing uh you know that's i did there was a time in austin texas that i was against uh i was with dolph ziggler and john cena was in the ring and i had to do a promo and john cena had the fans so riled up that every time i brought the mic to my mouth um, it took 20 minutes for me just to even get two words out oh wow and so, <laughs> really bad and so after like 20 minutes we we missed commercial breaks like Vince had told us just keep going because the fans were so hot at having me try and speak promo and we went about 20 I guess almost 30 minutes long we went off the air and still they still kept us on air and I I was wanting to laugh because Dolph's like we're not going to get out of this too so whole promo like almost a page to say and um, I never got to finish it, but that was something I almost, I started laughing because I was frustrated. And I had to give it to the fans. Like, they they did their job that night by keeping me quiet. <laughs> did you send that picture over to Aaron that you showed me on your iPad? I uh, will right now. Yeah, because I want to put that up so that Vicky could see it before we uh, get ready to sign uh, off. I have to, I have to give my... Uh, I have to give my uh, wrestling, my old-time wrestler today... Bearcat Brown. Wow, I thought oh, wow. you Bearcat Brown. My God. By the way, someone uh, Brandy brought up, as did I think uh, Jasmine earlier. Uh, everybody still loves the the night that The Rock uh, sang to you. Oh, oh! Now we're really getting into some fun, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I really thought Rock was gonna fall me. I, they didn't tell me where the storyline was. Going. They just said go out there and follow, you know, Dwayne's lead. And when he started singing, I'm like, holy shit, we're going to have a storyline. Like, he's going to fall in love with me. We're going to, like, create all kinds of chaos. This is great. And then when the words started turning to some negative things towards me, I was just like, oh, this is not going to happen. Like, I, I, my heart got broken. Within, like, five minutes, I was up and then back down again. <laughs> it was, it, I was waiting for you to say, well, shit. <laughs> You know, it's he's so great, and he created that song all by himself with the words. And I love working with Dwayne. I mean, he's incredible, and I had some really fun times with him. Up now on the screen is the uh, picture of Bearcat Brown. That uh, because we make this part of our show, uh, Chief brings up a uh, wrestler of prior lore at, for our audience, and Bearcat Brown there was was this week's uh, selection. Yep. Now, did you plan that, or did you just come up with that off the cuff? Off the cuff. <laughs> We'll talk about Does that. Does he plan anything? <laughs> no, no. That is very true. <laughs> I shoot from the hip. Perfect. All right. Do we have that? Did you get that picture? He has, did you send it to him? I mean, we're trying to, Matt has a picture that we sent to our producer that I want 
Aaron to try to show you before we leave of, of uh, Chief last night that he was referring to about uh, being active at a, what's that? All right, at uh, FSW. I don't know, even if you can bring it up and we'll turn it to the camera if we have to there, Mr. Matt. I, I've, I've been known, Vicky, to um, know my limitations. Uh, I never crossed the line, but I am getting good at using a kendo stick. Not as a cane either, as people suggested, by the way. No. Not as a cane. By no. the way, while we're waiting for this picture, I just want to remind everybody, at, uh, from 2 to 4 today, I'll be over at Power Play Sports Collectibles at the Boulevard Mall with my book signing for my book, as well as tomorrow from 11 to 1. So stop on down and see me there. Pick up my book. I'll autograph it. I'll even give you the pen I signed it with. Vicki, I'll have one ready for you when you come up in October. And, uh, wow, you're busy, Aaron. I'm trying. I'm trying. i got to catch up to you, Vicki. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Check that picture. Can you explain that picture for our audience before we say goodbye? Because there's a lot of explaining to do there. Do I have Are you getting kids up? Well, that... It looks like he wanted to grab his ass. Oh, 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 I got to get that vision out of my head now. Oh, she's going to look so like you're about to grab his ass. That, that is a guy, that is a fella from Portland, Oregon that came down to wrestle. Drove 15 hours yesterday. Him and his tag partner that were trained by Len Denton. And I'm sure, Vicky, you know who Len Denton is. I've heard his name, yes. Okay. I've heard his name. Well, anyway, it was, was not, <laughs> it was not <laughs> getting over. Okay, okay. no pop at all. And I had, I had to figure out how to do something. So I got, well, if you, if, if they'd have been better pictures, you would have seen where him and I went head to head and we actually butted heads. And, uh, but it's I, not there, Chief. I, and you know, the funny thing is, is when, if you, if you would know our Las Vegas family, I really am loved out here. Oh, he is. And, He's an icon. And I got, I got the biggest pop on the, t on the show last night, more than the wrestlers. So, obviously, wow. I'll leave it at that. But it was a good time. That's awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, all right, Vicky, we, we were allowed to go over a few minutes since we started a few minutes late, so please talk about your podcast, where people can find it. Is it recorded or is it a live podcast? I sometimes it's live, but it's mainly recorded. I try and release on a weekly basis, depending on my AEW schedule. Right. Uh, but you can find it on all kinds of platforms. Uh, it's If you want to send me any emails or feedback or guest suggestions, you can go to excuse me, Vicky at Uh There's also, you can find it on Instagram at Guerrero underscore Vicky. And there's Twitter, which is Vicky Guerrero. And um, I'm on my Twitch at Excuse Me Vicky, which is a lot of fun. You can come play games with me and chat. And uh, we're going to be talking about AEW this past week. And so there's a lot of fun stuff. And my book's going to come out. And you can find me on Wednesdays on Dynamite. And also, um, you know, here. I'm not found anywhere. <laughs> She's, a, she's an unofficial, like, co-host guest. Whenever she wants to pop in, the invitation is open. All right, Vicki, it's been an absolute pleasure, of course, always catching up with you and, and sharing some laughs and stories. And, and, of course, like I said, your knowledge of pro wrestling. I don't know why you're not doing seminars on pro wrestling, but you certainly should be. And I will look into you and I doing a podcast seminar in October. Keep me in the loop so we know what's happening, okay? I would love to. I thank you guys so much. I really love your show. I love you all, even though Matt still sucks. He can just keep <laughs> clipping that out but later. Thank you, Vicky. You guys are awesome. Hey, I wish so much success. We owe you a steak dinner when you get out here. Gary, so much for coming on, Vicky. We really See appreciate that it. Bread from Brit? See that bread from Britain? See that smoke just coming out of her mouth? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you, Vicky. We love you. All right. With that, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Great episode, gentlemen. I think we would agree. Vicky's always tremendous. Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. I do want to mention and remind everybody, Tuesday, Firehouse Subs from 7 to 8 p.m. at their Eastern and uh, Russell location. The Unguided is our guest. T-shirt giveaways, a trip to Cancun, and all the like. Final thoughts, Mr. Matt, as we say goodbye. Everybody have a great week. Thank you so much, Vicky, for coming on. It's a great honor to have you. Chief. Everybody be safe. Wash your hands, wear a mask if you choose to. And Vicky, thanks very much, dear. Look forward to October. Vicky, bef before I say my closing line, let's hear it one more time for everybody listening, if you don't mind. I am 
have two things to say. Go. Matt, you're fired. And yes. Surprise me. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. We love you. Remember, everybody, be kind to each other. Why is that? We're all we have. We'll see you next week. Actually, we'll see you Tuesday. Thoughts count anywhere. Thank you. Yay!